Hello friends, this video tutorial includes the solution of another trigonometric proof. If you have not been a member of my channel, please press the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get my updates immediately. So today's question uh, is on the screen. This is the uh, simplest question that I have picked up though it seems to be a complex one. Uh, so uh, let's start from LHS. So on the left hand side we have cos p by sin q into sin r plus cos q by sin p into sin r plus cos r uh, by sin p into sin q. So what uh, we will do in uh, to the next step is we will take LCM uh, uh, from this step as there are no any factors that seems here that can be converted into any kind of the formula that we have studied in trigonometry. Since uh, we cannot apply any formula here, so uh, we will be applying the mathematical rule that uh, uh, we can take LCM of the different denominators here. And then finally, we'll get the LCM as sin P into sin Q into sin R. So this is the LCM of uh, the above step. And then taking the LCM, we need to multiply in the numerator by some factors by some uh, trigonometric terms so here we have uh, we have to multiply the first uh, trigonometric term cos p by uh, sin p so why it is so because uh, when we compare this denominator with the lcm then we already have sin q and sin r sin q and sin r so there remains sin p so this one should be multiplied with the numerator of the first factor similarly we will multiply with sin q to the second factor because sin p and sin r are already there in denominator of the second factor so there remains sin q to be multiplied in the same way the third factor is multiplied by sin r so after this step uh, we will apply another mathematical trick that any numerator and uh, denominator or any fraction can be multiplied uh, by the same number, isn't it? So that that what we have learned in our classes. So we might have applied the same rule in different questions also before. So following the same rule, we multiply the denominator, the whole denominator sorry uh, numerator and the denominator by the same number that is 2 here so it is applicable so now these two gets multiplied with uh, sin p cos p it will become 2 sin p into cos p the next one this one will become 2 sin q into cos q and the third one will become 2 sin r into cos r similarly these two remains here so we so we do not multiply each of these terms separately by two because there is already the multiplication sign but we can do that one here in the numerator because there is the plus sign and uh, moving to the next slide now we can convert this form into a formula that is two uh, that is sine two c is equal to two sine c into cos c so we have numerator in the form of 2 sin c into cos c. This can be converted in the form sin 2 c from this formula. So uh, all of uh, these factors like uh, 2 sin p into cos p can be converted into sin 2 p. Uh, 2 sin q into cos q is again in the same form. So that can also be converted into sin 2 q in uh, sin 2 q. And in the same way, the third part can also be changed in the same form that is sin 2 r and the denominator will remain same here in this step uh, no need to change now after this step uh, sin 2 p plus sin 2 q plus sin 2 r can be directly written as 4 sin p into sin q into sin r so how this can be done and for that you have to go through the video that i have uploaded here as the second video from trigonometry section and uh, it is a very long process 
this is not compulsory to follow during your examination as it will make your uh, question your solution very long uh, that's why you can directly write this one but uh, for your understanding you please go through uh, the second video of trigonometry here and if you have enough time during your examination you can write the whole process if you wish and now these two sine p into sine q into sine r this is the same that we have copied from the above step now sine p and sine p is common sine q sine q common and sine r sine r common so they can be cancelled uh, and then again we can take common in between these numbers 4 and 2 they two have the same common number that is 2 so we can divide this 2 by 2 that will be 1 this 4 by k and 2 that and that will be 2 so finally we will get 2 as our answer which is the right hand side that we need in this question so we have now left hand side is equal to right hand side so i hope you easily got this uh, uh, process as i have told you this is the simplest question i have picked up so the process are also very uh, very much simple one